In this short video, I'm just going to show a couple of features of Church Secretary for Windows version 2013. We're going to first show the uh, backup features and then the uh, importing and then adding records. Before importing, one of the first things you might want to do is do a manual backup. Make sure all your windows are closed. And just do manual backup. It'll create a backup with all the files stored in a zip file. So that way if there's a problem during your import, you can restore it to the previous version by doing restore. Now we're going to import data. The program is delivered without any family or member information. We have to have a spreadsheet. We select the first sheet where our data is. We're going to automatically map up, match many of the fields by clicking the arrow with the plus on it. Some fields are not mapped automatically. You need to drag and drop the other fields like I'm doing for the phone number, home phone number, and email address. Click Next. Next again, we don't want to filter it. We could choose to sort the data, but it really doesn't matter because we can sort it any time by clicking on the column header. As it finished, we've imported the data. So I've got two family records. I'm going to add a photo for the members right now for the, for the Darren Stevens family, and I'll also add a photo for the Munsters. And there we go. Now, I'm going to look at member information. I can just click the insert button, add a new record, and this will be uh, Herman Munster. We'll pick out his family, the Munsters. We'll fill in from the family record by clicking this button here. Information there's his working, his um, email address and home phone number came over. We'll add in a work phone number as well. I'm not going to gather it, make a guess on his birthday, we'll just leave that for now. But one thing you might want to say is the member type, he's the head of household, member state status is inactive, and pledge will say $100, and he's a regular giver. Now, let's add another. Again, we can do this by picking out the family first, then filling in certain data, and just type what's left. Member name is required. And we'll pick out a photo for Darren. Okay, we'll say he's also a uh, head of household. Member status is active. Darren's doing pretty well, so we pledge a little bit more. That's really all there is to it. But we'll add one more um, member. And let's add Tabitha Stevens. She'll be a child type member. Whoops. We should make her miss. We'll say she's single. Again, we'll fill this in. We'll choose a picture for Tabitha. And again, here in member type, we'll choose child. This is useful because you can easily query or filter data based on the member type. For example, we want to see only those who are a child. Maybe had vacation Bible school come them. You could export that data. In fact, let's do that now. We'll export to Excel. And here'll be your member information for those that were uh, member type of child. And we can scroll over. And there's your member type. I'm not going to save that. Let's go ahead and, and reset the filter. You can do that by clicking here. Well, we had filtered on something else. With the address, you click this button also reset. So this gives you an idea of what the program can do and hopefully do it pretty easily. There's one last thing, let's get a picture of Herman. And we choose reports. Let's look at a report that has uh, member photos. 
Let's print this report. And so here you see I've also got barcodes. In a, in a later video, I'll show you how to add barcode reports uh, or items to a report. We just want to give you an idea of what's possible. Thanks, and check back for another video.